Hello, hello, my name is Milda and this is Blue Pterodactyl. So today we are covering some updates in Aiden Fucci case. If someone is not aware, Aiden Fucci stabbed his classmate, 13 year old Tristan Bailey, 114 times, less than a half a mile away from his house in the neighborhood where Tristan also lived and left her lifeless body to die. This happened in 2021 on Mother's Day. After all of this, he just went home. Police arrested him the next day as there were some ring cameras of them both walking towards the place of the incident and only him walking back. If you would like to know more about this case that I think is quite interesting, um, I have a video on it, so make sure you watch it there. Make sure you check it out. Aiden Fucci is being charged with first degree murder and is set to appear in court for his trial in upcoming days. So the jury selection started on this Monday, so two days ago. And Aiden is actually having a pre-trial hearing today where they're going to discuss how many jurors they're going to ask for and also a timeline of the crime. And the trial is said to be held in St. John's County, despite the Aiden's attorney's request it to be moved. Because the case had so the case had quite a big media coverage and there was a massive community involvement, including vigil for Tristan and other similar stuff. However, the trial is staying here in the location in the St. John's County. And also, the judge allowed, allowed it to be six jurors instead of 12, so all of this should expedite the process um, that is happening now as we speak. According to Florida law, there has to be 12 jurors for capital case. However, because Aiden was uh, 14, so a juvenile at the time when he committed a crime he's not eligible for the death penalty so the six jurors is okay um, because it, it counts as not as capital uh, murder case um, however Aiden is being trialed as adult and if convicted he's gonna he could spend all of his life in prison and as I said before he's not eligible for death penalty as he was a juvenile. Imagine a 14 year old stabbing his classmate 114 times. Do you think he regrets his actions? I think he regrets getting caught and being in prison, but we do have some uh, reports about his behavior in prison and it's not looking good. He got in, into several fights and threatened to kill correction officers, inmates and their families and Fuji has been relentless in his threats against two inmates. And one inmate informed police that Fuji been saying he's gonna stab me up when he gets back to GP. He be telling everyone in the dorm that when he get out he gonna find my people and stab them and take pictures. He go around saying we all because most of us in here for shooting someone and killing them. He says he real, he stabs a face to face and take their life. It's like he get high off it or something. Looks like he's obsessed with stabbing. And several officers also stated that inmate Fuji made threats to kill our families while beating on his cell doors in a loud vicious manner. So it doesn't look good for Aiden at the moment. And also Fuji's former cellmate claims Fuji said he was tougher than other teen inmates who'd shot the victims to death, bragging that he stabbed a girl face to face. And you know, don't get me wrong, prison is a tough environment and he has to be tough to survive. However, all of this behavior goes way against what he tries to portray in court. Like he's this innocent child and he didn't do anything wrong. So make sure you join my Dino crew by subscribing 
not to miss any updates on the most interesting and new cases, analysis and coverage. And that's it from me now. Goodbye.